I'm gonna show you guys how to make roofs. So I showed like my first video is a roof, but I noticed that it's too dark to see anything. And also people have pointed it out. So I'll give an actual tutorial this time. Okay, I'm gonna do a simple roof first. I'm just gonna take some terracotta and usually I just form a circle or like whatever the tower is. So I'm just gonna form a circle. Also, don't mind me, my OBS is tripping, which is why I haven't made any tutorial or anything in seven million years. To make like a standard tower, I just add a few blocks, like three on all of them. And then when you go into the next layer, you just like do the outline of what it was at and then you keep going with three I'm shirting my eyes so bad right now because my OBS is so broken I can't play in full screen Misplacing everything. Okay, so I got the basic shape down. This is what it would look like, like a deformed mountain, kind of. Okay, now. Oh my. Ew, there's bats. Hold on. Okay, now to add more shape and make it look more pointed, I usually add like two blocks like this on each of the sides. Oops. And you just keep going up. And it's honestly, after that, it's up until preference. Like, I don't really like these corners, so I'm just gonna kind of break them. Kind of fit it to what I would like it to look like. Like, it looks a little too boxy. I also like my towers to be pointed pretty high, or uh, my roofs. And to do a little extra point, you can put a wall of like whatever matches your build and like fencing. Oops. That, oh my. It's looking a. Oh, fly. This is looking a little bit too unshaped at the bottom for me. So let me just do what I did. And all the other oh. so this is the example of one of the pointed roofs it's kind of just like a basic and then you can blend in whatever block you want which makes it look a lot better personally is what I think another roof I like making it has the same Concepts. Like all the roofs kind of have the same concept. So instead of doing um, all the same block, you can make a more gradual roof. So for this one, I'm going to start with two at the bottom. In the next layer, I'm going to do three. Next layer, I'm going to do four. So I'm gonna do five now or if you don't want it to be super like extremely elongated you can do like four for another layer you can you can trip what am I saying? you can double <laughs> you can double the last layer like you can do four on this one and then the last layer you can do five 
And the point, I always change, so I just do the point at whatever for now. And as you can see, it has a very disgusting looking shape, which is why we shape it. So personally, I don't really like these edges. Always get rid of them, in my opinion. And then now, you do what you did on that tower, you just add your points on each side. Except, these ones will go up a little bit, like that. So it gets a gradually increasing look to it, you know? Not that one, it's not that one. And then the roof, of course. I mean, the, the, the point? The point? Yeah. I always like making this, like, I always like adjusting this according to what I think looks good. Oh, oh, okay, like this. Like, you can make the top one go really high up if you want, or just... See, now that's, that's way too high, that's way too high. But personal preference. I think this looks good. And of course the bottom, I don't know, the bottom usually, you'll have like, um a base which is why it looks really odd right now like usually i have a slab kind of base here we have another way of building a roof honestly i prefer this oh so these are the basic concepts of oh the sheep okay so these are the basic concepts of making the roofs and you always just i don't know i feel like you just adjust it according to how your build like what you're building on top of it looks like. This is an advanced warning. I make a lot of castles, so you're only gonna be seeing these on castles. So this is my first example. I kind of do the pointed roof, like the gradual one on those two smaller towers and the bigger one too. Yeah, I mostly do the gradual roof, but um, this is how I incorporate them. I also added See, like, I added the slabs as a base, and then I mixed them with other blocks. And I really do like doing the pointed things at the top with the walls, the fences, and the end rod. And yeah, my build is unfinished. I actually really like this castle, though. This is another example oh, shoot, of one of my castles. This roof, I kind of used the first version more, but the point is according to however you like it. Don't mind the middle. It looks really... Um, it looks really distorted. This is kind of me experimenting with the roof. Here's yet another example. Like I said, I build a lot of oh shoot, I build a lot of castles. As you can tell, they're not really finished. But this one, I'll see the gradual roof there, and this one's kind of more of the first one, I think, with a little bit of a gradual build. But look at the texturing. Like like I said, I think texturing makes it look a lot better, in my opinion. Last but not least, this is my last example. Honestly, this is like the only castle I've kind of finished. Which is kind of sad. But, um... Yeah. I think I used more of the first design here. With a little bit of texturing. So it's really just however you like it. And however you incorporate it into your own builds. Which makes it look different for everyone. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'm sorry it took so long. Because I do have a lot of complaints in <laughs> my first video because the block I made the roof with is really dark. But I really hope that this helped you. And let me know if you want to see any more building tutorials or like what you would want to see. Because I think my OBS is working again. Anyway, thanks for watching.